TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. This behind me, oh man, this is just in case we are live and you happen to miss it. This is where the highlights go, man. Link in the description. Don't forget, we do got the Patreon. This is a list of everything that's on there. I need to update it a little bit, but for the most part, man, links in the description for this too. And Discord, which is where you can get all your little requests in, man. And where we, you know, just build a community, have a conversation, have fun. Um, It's negative in there too, just to let y'all know. Uh, it's the first time we've been to a Vice premiere. This is a special moment, man. I see the chat. Okay. It's busting in here, too. Almost 2,000 people in a premiere? Should be more. You got two, 17 million subs in there, man. Salute to Vice, though, man. Like the video. 420 likes. That's a love. That's a love. Let's get into it, man. The druggiest island on Earth, Ibiza. Never been. I've never been out the country, so it makes sense. Anyone can offer you drugs. From the simple waiter, to the barman, to the taxi man. First of all, <laughs> just want to throw that out there real quick. And we're back. L'isola di Ibiza senza gli spacciatori cosa farebbe? È un mondo di drogati e di bella gente. Un lavoratore che sta di male come diventano tutti i mini pulci. Sì, no, no. Pietà, pietà, pietà. Ibiza made me into a little swan bike. Just corrupts you, desensitizes you to everything they do. Ibiza can bring you to hell or can bring you to paradise. Sounds like Miami to me. <laughs> Ibiza is the world's greatest party island. Famed for its iconic Balearic house and techno, people swarm from all over the world to lose their mind in the island's super clubs. And with all the clubbing comes drugs, lots of drugs. In fact, the island is saturated with drugs, with a GTA map full of organized criminals vying for that sweet tourist cash. And just to add to the chaos, you have the season workers, people from across the world who work on the island from May to November, who also love to sell lots and lots of drugs. I know this as I, for better or for worse, am a veteran season worker myself. <laughs> you was trapping out there, what's her name? Didn't sell any drugs though, promise. Did you do so? So who are the people supplying this heaving market? As the season crescendos with its closing parties, I will be getting a rare insight into Ibiza's criminal underbelly that keeps the island burning. I've been invited to a couple of season worker turned drug dealer pre-drinks as they get ready for a big night out at a super club. Tell us what's on the table. Good onion, there's a weed, pork. Quite the concoction. And you're both season workers, right? Mm -hmm. We promote events after parties. What's it like to be on the last week of the season? The bubble is gonna explode. If you come here and live in Ibiza or for a vacation as the first time, uh, you will be in the bubble of Ibiza. Ibiza. <laughs> you can buy everywhere in the world, but here there's a vibe, there is something you can, you can I love this island. You can feel, you can touch. Mm -hmm. Has it not taken its toll at all? No. Me, I'm... Yeah. <laughs> Yet, older, older, and class A's will eventually catch up to you. You don't ever see them people in their 30s that look like they're 60. Oh, yeah, they're gonna get you. I'm still awake from yesterday. Wow. See what I'm saying? I went party after party after after party, and now I'm party again. Yes, I yes, I yes, party, party, party. So you're a dealer as well? Oh, uh, yeah. Do you do a lot of your drugs? Do you end up taking them? One night, I got uh, around. 10 pills to take them in the club, you know, someone asked me, but... Uh, you ate them all? all. 10. 10. To be honest with you, it's not 10, 12 or 14, something like this, but uh, we always take something from the stuff we sell. So like we are not paying for them, so... It makes everything cheaper. Yeah. 
Bro did 14 in a night? So what are your plans for tonight then? Tonight it's the clothing party, so uh, it's going to be crazy. Most nights in Ibiza will involve a huge super club. They are like a giant drug laboratory where the pretense of a soft security pat-down gives way to open dance floor pill-popping in keys. The club I was in even had a curtained area where you were allowed to openly rack up. The seasoned workers are here for a good time, not a long time, with you know, grinding I... and becoming the Pablo Escobars of Ibiza not being on their bucket lists. But who are the people making real money? Where do the seasoned workers' drugs come from? Behind the neon lights and swinging jaws are an amalgamation of serious organized crime groups who compete for the reservoirs of raver pocket money. An organization who has a lion's share of the income is none other than the Italian Mafia. I'm on my way to meet a pretty serious I man on the island. Gonna, I wonder if it was gonna be a UK thing. I don't even know where Ibiza is located, honestly, where it's, where it's close to. But I know if Liverpool had a hand in this, I know if the Italian Mafia, but that makes sense. He's a Mafia-affiliated kingpin, and he's gonna tell me how the island works. So how long have you been on the island for? Sono tre anni che vivo sull'isola. L'unica cosa per crescere qui è la droga, per crescere e guadagnare molti soldi. How did you build your empire? Francisco. Ho comprato il primo chilo e ho tirato su 20.000 euro, i primi 20 mila euro di guadagno. Ho presi quasi un mese di reso. It was about one month and I had made around 80. Okay, 20 a key and then he made 80. Does the Mafia have a presence on the island? Abbiamo soprattutto qua ci trova soprattutto la la camorra e l'andrangheta. Ovviamente io faccio parte del gruppo dei napoletani. So can you give us a sort of lay of the land? I bizze è divisa così. La il primo che trovi come spacciatore è il senegalese e lo trovi al porto al Paia de Bossa, tutti i senegalesi vendono la droga. Ali, how I have money. How many grand? Two, three. I have three now. If I have two hundred. sa che loro vendono la droga. C'è qui è la polizia corrotta. Sono un po' loro che decidono il monopolio. Loro mangiano, no? Sopra questo. Dove stanno? That makes sense. It, it, everybody in this in here got to be eaten. Ain't nobody left out. I wouldn't be surprised if the government had a hand in it over here. Tani possono andare a comprare all'aeroporto la coca buona, la le pasticche e tutto quello che diciamo di cui hanno bisogno. Faccio un So right off the plane you getting into it. Fuori a qualunque ristorante, in ogni angolo che tu ti giri, fuori a qualunque bar dell'isola. Are the seasoned workers involved in this chain? fanno parte di questa catena a tutti gli effetti ma da questo modo di vedere di vendere la droga come diciamo sostenere qualche spesa loro che hanno qui è tutto un è come un cane che si morde la coda eh, perché tutto, tutti i soldi che tra virgolette guadagnano li vanno comunque vanno comunque a drogarsi fanno un comando it's like a revolving door you come you come in there you talk to whoever you talk to you get them you get the drugs you sell them the money you get, you go buy them more. Like, what, like that's a pointless. I mean, if you dare strictly to party and the fees are on habits, cool. Which I don't condone any of that. But partying is cool, but, you know. Da nessuno. Qui ognuno si fa da sé. Qui non, diciamo, è terra di nessuno. Questa è una impressione, la signora. Se mi vede con la bandana, capito? Poi chiamo la polizia subito. Ho detto che ci fermava la polizia. Sono là, eh. Francesco has reason to be nervous, as the police have recently been doing high profile drug raids on the island. This has made him a touch paranoid. Ma stanno venendo dietro a noi, poi ci fermano. Ci stavano aspettando, te l'ho detto. No, a spiegare che si cavano stanno un bel nuovo. Do all these groups on the island live harmoniously or do they ever have to get violent with each other? Io compro da te, tu compri da me, basta, cioè finisce lì. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't expect them to be getting violent there. Like it's enough money with tourism, it's enough money for everybody. Plus violence 
brings more police, brings more eyes. You don't want to do that. Interesse. A me se mi rubi un cliente mio che magari mi fa guadagnare, allora là cambia il discorso. Ma io ti seguo, io capisco, cioè io sono sono c'è lì l'interesse. A me se mi rubi un cliente mio che magari mi fa guadagnare, allora là yeah, okay. cambia il discorso. Ma io ti seguo, io capisco, cioè io sono sono psicopatico mentale. Questo ti devi stare attento, hanno ad essere sempre That's anywhere. Preleale. Francesco has been trying to get hold of one of his drug runners all day and is not best pleased. Having finally got hold of his employee, Francesco allowed me to visit the trap house where they sell from. Dante is at the very bottom rung of the food chain and is not really living the Balearic dream. Hola. Hello. He was hesitant to speak to us. Is this where you run your operation? Sì, è la base. Dove ci vediamo e parte tutto. And what is it that you sell? Ok, ora qui abbiamo coca e heroin. Coke and heroin? Sì. What sort of people? Who's coming there and buying H? Who's going to Ibiza, however you say it, and getting H? That is not a party. That is not a party one. That is not one for partying, I think, I would assume. People take heroin in Ibiza. It seems quite unexpected. That's what I'm saying. Is it okay if I see it? This is coke. Why do you sell heroin and cocaine and not ecstasy pills, for instance? Do you ever sell to workers? So essentially, the workers are helping to distribute all of this. It's like a life's little drug ecosystem in Ibiza. That's crazy. A criminal group competing with the Italians for a share of this lucrative drug market are the Moroccan street gangs. Hello. So what do you do here? local. Ain't that go don't that go in a hookah? How did that happen? So I heard that there some guys beat him for his work in the street and then carved letters in his arm. It's crazy. When wars around here amongst turf, is that not true? I can't. It feels like such a competitive market in Ibiza. How do you make sure that you rise above the rest? Like any drug market, the dealers on the street. I'm not even gonna lie, that sounds pretty normal. You know what I'm saying? Coming from, you gotta remember where I'm coming from. I'm coming from Chicago. If somebody's in your hood selling on your turf, like that's normally what happens, what he just said. Allegedly. Are often providing the weakest and most cut product as they can disappear into the Ibethan mist, never to be seen again. Away from the strong ties of the different gangs are a group of freelance piss takers who have taken this business model to its most absurd extreme. So what have we got going on here? Sono degli dei medicinali presi in farmacia che vengono praticamente scamazzati col piatto. Uh, they in here cutting, mixing, doubling. <laughs> they getting rischiati, messi in agustina e venduti come droga. Oh, they not even mixing, they just pretending. See, this is so this bad for business, I would assume out there. Where do you sell it? Praticamente in prima serata scendiamo nelle zone più frequentate dai turisti, soprattutto i giovani, quando andiamo per il porto, andiamo per il primo E poi dopo il tempo di 
di fare quello che facciamo e ognuno di noi va mezz'ora e scompariamo. Poi si fa una certa ora dove iniziano le serate, andiamo al locale. Has anyone ever come up to you and accused you of selling them fake stuff? No, e quelli sono gli stupidi. Fai veloce, la polizia, dammi la 50 euro, dai di qua, dai di là. E loro allora, vuoi la polizia la polizia ci fa. Quindi non hanno il tempo di chiedere queste cose. How much money do you make? Allora praticamente questa costa 10 euro, escono 20 così e prendo 1000 euro. Is that almost part of you that feels a bit less guilty because you know you're not dealing real drugs to people? E eh certo, cioè in effetti invece di finire di lavare gli do le vitamine. <laughs> hey, hey, he running the perfect scheme out there for them tourists. Oh, the police coming. Hurry, hurry, hurry. You hear that? And they just blew up their whole scheme. Whoever's watching this and planning to go to Ibiza, if they rushing you, get up out of there. It's fake. Allegedly. I'm just, in, you know, I'm just listening at this point. E quindi non li, non li ammazzo. Quindi mi dico. Give them vitamins. Well... Mi tengo. non lo so, tipo il dottor House. What are the Rennies for? For me. Sta di sopra. <laughs> Brucia un uovo. Ho bisogno delle pillole. Low level dealers like this are similar to your average season worker, making a modest income to fund their lives and for many their drug use. But for those season workers who have pivoted to the drug trade and kept it professional, there is serious organized crime level money to be made. Aiden has gone quickly from bartending to making an absolute fortune dealing. So where are we going now? We're gonna go drop off some money for a bit load. It's not really a rush on it, but I just wanna get it gone because I don't really want it in the house anymore. Are they part of a gang, the person that you owe this money to? No, they're probably one of the few people that are similar to me that just prefer to work alone. And did he originally come here as a season worker? Pretty sure he did, yeah. Is that how you came here? Yeah, I used to work behind the bar for probably the first two years. Or so. He sound like he's from the UK, definitely. Yeah, until he seemed to like a little bit. And then I started selling from behind the bar. And it got to a stage where I was missing sales. And the sales were worth a lot more than what I was earning behind the bar. So after like a week or two of realizing the potential, I just kind of quit. Jesus, that is a wad of cash. How much is that? 18,660, I think. And that's money that you've made for someone? Yeah, that's... This is what I learned about dealers, man. When you think you, like, when girls come to their crib and they see money, dealers normally have money laid out around the crib, sometimes. Um, depends who. But, like, if you think you... St every dollar is accounted for mentally in their mind. Don't think just because it's laid out randomly, they don't know how much money... They gonna come get you if they miss something. That was random, but anyway. And that's money that you've made for someone? Yeah, that's that's his portion of the money that I owe. And what's the portion that you got? I probably made just over double that. So he's going to give some cash to another dealer who I'm assuming he got his supply off. It's 18,000 euros. Well, he gets it fronted. Pays, he gets it front, it charges what he charges, or either cuts it and triples his profit, gives the man his money back on time. Salutable. And he's saying that he made double that. I can see why he stopped working as a bartender. You got another order there. What's it for? It's just only a small one, one coke, one MD, one pills. But I'm desperate at the minute because it's so quiet. Because it's the end of season? Yeah, and I have so much stock left to get rid of. So would you consider yourself low-level scale? Yeah, the lowest of the low, really. Even though you're making Under the radar. Yeah. times two, 18,000? I think even the worst dealer would struggle to make less than 30 grand in a season. If they're making less than that, I think they shouldn't even be bothering and risking it. Like. Aiden has his first deal of the day, so the crew has to sit creepily in the back. How are you? Yeah, I think you. Oh, good. If, if anyone's asking for a number in a hotel, will you pass on my number? Yeah, we'll go. Cheers. See that? She was not friendly the last time. She, last time she was dying to shag me. So she's oh, God. Seen, she's seeing her in the front there, thought she's my girlfriend. <laughs> she's right. Hey, that's how I be. Dealers be getting a lot of play, man. Yeah? So the way that I understand it is there's a lot of different gangs that operate on the island. 
Do the seasoned workers never piss these people off? Like, seasoned workers are so minuscule on that scale that I don't think it really matters. Like, I think these them three groups are more to do with the importation. It's none of their business, really. Do workers ever get themselves into sticky situations? It's a hard island to actually keep your head and stay focused on, so I think it probably does happen a lot. I think it's fairly common that they go through their own supply. Like, and you? I don't touch any drugs, so it's purely money for me. It's probably wise, to be fair. So what's this guy getting? This guy's getting a quarter of coke which I'm doing very cheap because I'm trying to get rid of stock. Yeah, that's good doing. That's a lot of cocaine. Yeah, it's for him and his uh, wife for the week. Wow. Aidan's phone won't stop buzzing, and it's time for his next loyal customer. Yeah, just jump in there, see? What are you doing to me? Yeah, no, I've got quite one of No, you're not having a quiet one. <laughs> 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 right. Cut the cap out. You in here tr getting... <laughs> you for the mail purchase. You ain't no quiet night. Now, let me know what you think, anyway, so you can take a review. So, boys, enjoy that. Bro just said, give me a review on what, Yelp? What you... <laughs> enjoy that. Let me know what you think, anyway, so you can take a review. So, boys, enjoy that. So do you Sticking feel like beneath all of this fun, there's a dark side of Ibiza? A hundred percent. I feel like when you come here on a holiday, this is the best place ever. But if you stay here for longer than a month, you'll see what it's actually like. And people acting like they're living in paradise, living a dream, but they're not really. Like they're, they're telling themselves that so they can stay a bit longer. They like the sun and they like the free drink. But I don't think a lot of the people that are actually here working are happy realistically there feels like just the eternal sesh. It's kind of petrifying. Yeah, but it goes from the eternal sesh that's fun to the eternal sesh because I have no other choice and I can't afford food. Wow. That's bleak. Yeah. That's why I said, hey, look, I don't want to compare the two, but like, that sounds like, sound like a lot like Miami, I'm telling you. There's two types of people that come to Miami. You either come in a network or you either come in a party. You can get very lost. You can get very lost if you just move here randomly because the party life can take you or you could just be so focused on networking and growing yourself and you, you can be successful. But like, there is a there is no middle here. You either go on left or right. <laughs> it's clear that what may sound like the dream can actually get very dark. A lot of people just lose their heads. They stay too much drugs all summer, so by the end of it, though, their heads fucked. Most people are still smart and they're going on drugs. Seasoned workers on a constant cocktail of drugs and minimal sleep can get stuck in a cycle of selling drugs in order to fund their use, returning home broken. When does the party stop? When you stop, rave to the grave. <laughs> Before I flew... What's that about rave to the grave? Is you out of your mind? Well, clearly back to the relative normality of London, I was meeting with one of the seasoned workers I went clubbing with after he clocks off his job as a waiter with a particularly spicy menu. How long have you been in Ibiza for? I went first time in 2019 for vacation, felt in love with the islands and decided to come back here for work. And what do you do for work? I'm a waiter in a beach club and I do something else to earn more money. Maybe you have a mojito and maybe you want something else. So, I can give you something else. The way he just formatted his answer sound like he's selling meat. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what, like, you out there. You know what I'm saying? What you, I know what he's talking about, but it, it was just formatted weird. Maybe you order a mojito and you want a little something else on the side. You want some meat with that mojito? Like, calm down, but boy. And what drugs do you sell? Every type of drugs, some wheat, ashish. Crystal, MDMA, ecstasy pills, GHB, cocaine, ketamine. Do you get high on a lot of your own stuff? Yes, I love them. You can get into trouble taking drugs, maybe taking too much, maybe not sleep, partying for days and days. It can fuck up your job, it can fuck up your health. It can fuck yeah, definitely. Definitely a job and your health. But at the end of the day, you making money like that, who cares about your job? But like, your health for sure is shot. You gotta be, your liver, everything is, you putting stress on it. And then you probably drinking on top of that. You know, you take one of these class A's, you can drink forever. 
It reverses all drunkness. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stop your life. When you're selling, you have drugs, so you don't pay for them. And this can bring you to abuse. Ibiza can bring you to hell or can bring you to paradise. When you say a lot of drugs, can you give me an idea of the quantities that you or other people are taking? In uh, all a night, you can find yourself starting with uh, cocaine to taking MDMA, then a pill, and maybe you end the night with some ketamine. And is that every day for how long? I ain't even gonna say it, because YouTube gonna flag. <laughs> Five to six months. I wasn't using big amounts of drugs before coming here, but it can really change you. And how many people have you seen leave? It happens a lot that people leave the island because they understand they are doing too much. Ibiza is not only having fun. If you want to enjoy, you have to put limits. Otherwise, you can fuck up your life. So you saying don't come to Ibiza for a long time. Just come for, get you a weekend and that's it. A week, maybe two. Even two sound like too much. Because just imagine you in there for two weeks straight, no sleep. Barely sleep. Because if I go to a visa right, right now, it's gonna, I, I'm going to turn up too. I'm going to turn up. We're going to turn up. We're going to get lit. As in drunk. <laughs> For many, Ibiza is the dream. A virtual reality where there are no rules. Criminal groups of every flavor compete to provide the soundtrack to this movie. But this lifestyle is high stakes with seasoned workers treating their bodies with the utmost disrespect while suddenly finding themselves in the midst of a huge criminal enterprise. As long as Ibiza remains the number one spot in the world for dance music, there will be a thriving drug market. People aren't dancing from 10 p.m. to 4 p.m. the next day on Stellar's. But if you're a... You could do that in Chicago too, a weekend in Chicago. There's stuff obviously that stuff. The pregame starts at 5 p.m., you know, happy hour. And then you can find yourself out until the next day, <laughs> until 2 p.m. So. Seasoned worker, you may just want to try and stick to your bartending pay. And when it's time to go home, go the fuck home. Talk about it. All right, that's, that's a good one. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notifications.